Brunnick's later training sessions and left in the dark at 5 p.m. on a Tuesday. If there's any truth in that, you know what that translates to? United players are a bunch of cowardly little bottlers who have an overinflated ego and do not belong at this football club. Any decent player who has performed like most of them have, have this season should be doing four training sessions. They should be in between 9 and 11 and back again between 2 and 4. So be moaning about later training sessions, smuggle on it to be
Later, it's run like a proper football club. Manchester United had all the gear and no idea. And now we're in this horrible situation whereby we've got players who, when a new manager comes in, just basically start moaning and whinging and leaking because I've been dropped. Oh, I've got a train in the afternoon. Oh, he's not picking the mate. Oh, I'm getting criticised. Basically. Thanks. Oh, 
person in that dressing room can do it. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. to Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the greatest winners in world football, and take it away from somebody who doesn't have the acumen or the CV to do it, and let Ronaldo run the dressing room. And yes, he'll upset people, but if he upsets people, you know, at the end of the day, do you want to be in a situation where somebody just fire over the wire and they get some <laughs>
on social media. Rashford Bruno, Rashford Bruno, Rashford Bruno, Rashford Bruno. I just thought I'd go into idiots. Like, why, why do people not understand football? Like, Rashford needs dropping and Bruno's not going to play anymore. So, look, they're very easy to drop because they're very out of form. Even though Bruno's stats are still very good. He's not in form, but he's still good. Okay? What I don't read is what's on. I'm appalled by this and I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed by the British media. They don't know a lot about him, he's professional, you know, he's confident, he's got the right 